It's another cold, wet, miserable Manchester day. Um, but I'm excited because my batteries are arriving today. Um, they tried to deliver them yesterday, but couldn't actually get them off the truck. So I've organised a bit of help. Um, I'm in my scruffs. And when they get here a little after lunchtime, um, it's going to be a bit of a scramble with me, Owen and the driver to try and shift this 200 kilo-ish pack off. And when it comes off, I'll tell you a bit more about it. I won't show you the slightly sketchy process of it coming off the back of the truck. <laughs> no, that's what I'd arrange with the depot, but uh, he's here and it's off the truck. That's the main thing. Right, it's there in a puddle. I've got to go and do some work, which I'm now late for, and then come back and take it apart. Sorry, neighbor. Block in the road. We are the Orange Woolly Hats Brigade today. Yeah. Owen is here to help out. And we have a battery pack. We seems to be covered in carpet. Yeah. I've never, hey. seen, never seen a carpeted battery pack before. Let's get it open and uh, see if we can work out you what's in there. And you can pull off the... oh, I can pull it off. <laughs> pull your, yeah. I'll stop with this because it's uh, <laughs> It's un uh, unnecessary, I think. <laughs> People on my uh, WhatsApp group are already making jokes about you coming over to help me unload. <laughs> Thanks, that's um, that's where I saw myself. <laughs> that's where I saw myself. I've, uh, yeah. I've gained some ratchet straps in the process and some carpet. Sometimes they just screw them on though, so... The truck oh yeah, it's floor, it is, it's floor mats out of something, isn't it? Or a forward something or other. <laughs> Come on, you fucking <laughs> <never know. laughs> I'm gonna keep my trousers up, but I'm not showing off to you. Good man. So, nice vent on here, which will keep, give that a good clean up in case of explodiness. Try pulling that in there. Oh yeah, I will be wanting those. They're usually really good quality. Yeah, it looks like it is also siliconed all the way around. Let's, let's give it a try once these are out and then... You don't uh, want the tin, do you? Don't want the... Uh, the tin work. Uh, no, I'm going to scrap it. Yeah, so just get an angle grinder and lick it straight in. Into what? Oh yeah, yeah. I've got bury, a... Bury an angle grinder in it. Oh, no. Is it dead? No. Not to my knowledge, I mean, I don't know, is the honest answer. If he's dead, I'll be a bit upset, but I've not come across... It doesn't, a... doesn't matter if it is, you can, pop, you can revive them. I've not come across a dead one yet. Okay, this is super glued, as in not super glued, yeah, but you know yeah. what I mean. Could be, Crikey, this is worse than the Prius inverter. Well, it, it, could be, it could be the best part of an inch thick, you know. Yeah, thing. yeah. But I don't have an inch... Well, do I have an inch long? I do have an inch long knife, actually. Or oh, more than an inch long knife, you know what I mean? We're back to the issue of inches again. Um, I've got an old kitchen knife, which I'll go and get. I just want to go too far in and start getting into... Uh... Yeah, exactly. As you can see, it's starting to come, but whatever they've used to glue this down and seal it is pretty strong stuff. So cut back that way a bit and see if we can start to peel this corner. This is what I used to get the uh, Prius inverter open. That's good. Yeah. Okay, try and get that one right. Because once we have it broken, yeah, it yeah, it starts to peel. The, um... Yeah, don't ask that to the corner first. No.
straight. Oh. Don't let it arc. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty. Yeah, do that, yeah. <laughs> right, what have we got? So. Work, that was a bit of work. Big module, big module, big module, big module. Small module, small module, big module. And here, lots of lovely cable, uh, which we can reuse. Yeah, do you know what? I've got, ooh, this might actually be some external wiring that we can use as well. Um, S-Box looks a fair bit chunkier than the original BMW one. These are all our uh, BMS, secondary BMSs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's a big module. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I don't know what one of those is. Oh, one of them would be the primary, of course. One be the primary and then the secondary. I think this is just cable management here, although that's something. That might be a secondary BMS. There's a cooler what holds there going something. Yeah, so these are water cooled modules. So I don't know whether or not I'm going to use that, but I could water cool them. Yeah, yeah. So I could actually water I could actually reuse the water cooling for fast charging. Right, okay. Uh, I may or may not, I might not do it in the first iteration. But if I want to accelerate fast charging down the line, I can use that. Very nice. Where's the um, water cooling port down there? Oh, and those just those just unbolt as well, so those are reusable. Flexi holes so just clips out. Brilliant. Right. Let's crack on with disassembly. Live. It's live. I mean, well, it's just the battery. But they're all of the. You can't really electrocute yourself on these. He says. Famous last words before an episode of Casualty. But um, you shouldn't need any tools. It's all pretty much tool-free disassembly. Yeah, I don't know what the hell some of these things are. That's definitely your S-Box with your contactors in, but... I will just say about this, to, for camera, do as I say, not do as I do. I, if you don't know what you're doing, or at least if you don't like to pretend you know what you're doing, don't take apart a high-voltage battery pack in a puddle. <laughs> I have a puddle. Yeah, yeah. It's for a good earth puddle. Ah. Oh, that's not disconnected. There we go, all the modules out. Just some nice pipe work to dismantle. That's all done. Oh, is it? Uh, Disconnected. Two red, two red clips. Amazing. For uh, needle nose pliers or something. Cool, cool. Hey, my hands are a mess now. <laughs> Don't know if it will focus. Hammer. Don't know what. <laughs> That's got some weight to it. It's double skin. It's, um, Is it? Yeah, it's, it's, um, see there, it's two skins. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's cut out. It's not salt, you know. It's not yeah, salt yeah. Skin, but it isn't all, isn't it? It's a giant. It's, something else. It's, it's, it's double skinned as well on the bottom. Yeah. There's a third, those are just trays, and there's a double skin it's there to there. Looks like a great big wang. <laughs> Owen's had a slight puddle mishap. <laughs> I've got some tool cleaning to do and some car cleaning to do. <laughs> but I'll forgive him for being so helpful because he's doing the boring bit of checking the pallet down. I've cut this down. Ready to go to scrap. A bit of alley scrap, plenty of steel scrap to contribute to my collection. Nothing really very reusable on there. And this, well, that can all just go. So here's my hall, uh, vent to 
tools I need to put away. Lots of hardware. The connector I probably can't use unless I buy the other side of it, which I might be able to do. The uh, water pipe and inlets and outlets, which are pretty cool. Eventually got those disconnected and found the lost clip. Interconnects. Uh, all our BMS clips and etc. Sure there are too many modules for the number of modules, if you know what I mean. So I don't know entirely what those do. I'll have to figure that out. Um, external data connector. Again, I might find the other side of that. I might not bother since I've got lots of multi-way plugs. And our modules, I've not stuck a multimeter on them yet, but very nice. Probably the nicest bit in some ways is the uh, coolant piping. That looks eminently reusable. So I might plumb this internally, even if I don't plumb it externally yet. Because it'd be pretty cool to have cooling for fast charging. Let's get a multimeter on these and see if there's some charge. I hope there is. So it's a bit later. Um, we've dealt with uh, parents' evening, <laughs> and dinner, and running kids to clubs, and just really finishing up. Done a bit of tidying up because we left the place in a right mess after bringing it all in here. Tested some voltages briefly, not tested all the modules yet but all seems to be in order, which is great. I didn't really expect any different. This is a relatively new pack um, and appears to be in good shape. Um, so yeah, excited about getting on to the next bit. Well, excited and, you know, slightly apprehensive. Excited about fabricating a battery box. Um, I've got some designs. I might throw some uh, CAD images up where I started to model out the engine bay very roughly just to check how things might fit. Um, but I'm not going to model that until I've got the motor and I know exactly how much space I've got to play with. Um, then I've got to think about uh, control of these batteries and monitoring. Um, there isn't yet, to my knowledge, off-the-shelf um, software that will read the primary BMS module uh, in this pack. We can read the CSCs with SimBMS. Um, so that's the individual modules that go on each uh, battery module. Um, but actually just being able to plug into the main one and access all of it and all of its features and functions. No one's done that yet, I don't think. Um, but there is code out there that will. So that'd be a question of between me and those people I know who can code an awful lot better than me. You know who you are. Um, basically um, getting all of that integrated so that I can just use effectively the pack as is. Um, but just repackaged in a new box, um, ideally with all of its cooling features and everything else. So that's that for this video. I have a battery pack. That's the last major component that I need to complete this conversion. Now it's really all about, first of all, fabrication, um, then wiring and some coding um, to make it all come together. Uh, and those of you who know me will know which one of those is absolutely my weakest suit. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. P.S. Forgot to say, uh, I don't know if this was... This may not have made it into the video earlier because Owen and I were discussing it while taking it apart. I paid £600 delivered for this pack. So really, given where it came from, that's about 500 quid for the pack and about £100 for the delivery because it's a heavy old thing. And that's not the cheapest pack out there. They are going for insane prices at the moment. But to get exactly the pack that I wanted, i.e. the biggest size physically and weight, I think I can fit in my car for the maximum amount of uh, range, uh, then I was happy to pay, you know, 600 quid for that. I think it's a steal compared to what I've paid in the past. Certainly the, it's a fraction per kilowatt hour of what I've paid in the past, as we discussed on a recent episode of DIY EV Chat. Uh, and there'll be a new episode of that coming up next week with a special guest again, a very special guest. Bye-bye.